top five rap website.com. You already know what's going on. Today, vinyl of the week number 34. We got MF Doom, Mad Lib, Mad Villainy. So everyone knows this album. This is a solidified underground classic record. If you don't know this album, get to know this album. This is one of the more well-known underground classics. Usually with underground classic records, cult classics, they're usually only known to a certain group of people. But this Mad Villainy album just seems to be known by every hip hop head. It's one of those albums that people recommend that everyone listen to along with Illmatic, Reasonable Doubt, 36 Chambers, etc, etc. Mad Villainy, this is Mad Lib on the production. This is MF Doom, this is 2004. And really the way that MF Doom describes it in interviews, RIP MF Doom, the way he describes it in interviews is it almost seemed like a freestyle session. The way he and Mad Lib did this record, he kind of just jumped over these beats. I'm sure they did not know that this would become the huge cult classic, underground classic that it will become. He kind of just was very free and kind of freestyling over these beats. And when you listen to this album, it certainly sounds that way. One great thing about Doom and what I think many people like about Doom is that he doesn't take himself too serious on the record. He'll let his humor poke out. He'll rhyme a word that doesn't really, it's almost nonsensical. He'll say things like, get more cheese than Doritos, Cheetos, Fritos. Like, very humorous, very laid back, lackadaisical, but also still very technically proficient with the rhyme schemes, the internal rhymes, the metaphors. So that all comes together here on Mad Villainy. Obviously, this is M of Doom here on the cover. And Mad Lib, you can see Mad Lib on the back. This is one of Mad Lib's crown jewels. It has that signature Mad Lib style. If you watch my channel, you know I've reviewed many Mad Lib produced projects already. This follows that same structure of Mad Lib having a theme. So you can listen to this album. What I mean by that is you can listen to this album without the lyrics, without MF Doom's vocals, and just hear what Mad Lib is doing with the samples, with the cameos, and how every beat kind of bleeds into the next, and you know, certain clips from certain TV shows or radio shows that he includes to create a bigger theme, an overall theme with the album. And when you have all that complexity and depth just in the production alone, and then you add MF Doom and what he's doing over this, over these beats, you get a very special project. Neither of them are taking themselves too seriously. And to be frank, both Mad Lib and MF Doom are very free. Like there's no, there's almost like there's no expectation of them on this album. It's almost like being kids and you, you just have the freedom, you just want to express the creativity. There's no sales quota that you have to meet. These aren't like huge artists at this time to where they have to live up to their last album. Uh, so they're thinking about how to top the last one. It's just very free flowing, very uh, free spirited music here. Now I can talk about the tracks, you know, I'll talk about my favorite songs. Track number five, Raid. How do hold heat and preach non-violence? He about to start speech, come on, silence. How do hold heat but preach non-violence? You know, that's one of my favorite bars. How do hold heat but preach non-violence? He about to start speech, come on, quiet. You know, light work, light work by MF Doom. So Curls, and that's one, or excuse me, Raid, that's one of my favorite Mad Lib beats. You know, it has that piano. On one scary night, I saw the light, heard a voice that sound like Barry. Um, Curls, Doom, get our villain, get the money like Curls. They just trying to get in that like squirrels in this mad world. Villain, get the money like Curls. They just trying to get a nut like squirrels in his mad world. That's track number nine, Curls. These are some of my favorite Mad Lib beats too, like Raid, Curls, like they're up there. 
Accordion, track number two. Uh, living on borrowed time, the clock ticks faster. Living off borrowed time, the clock ticks faster. That'll be the hour they knock the slick blaster. Dick bastard being monthly with sick laughter. You could just hear the rhyme scheme, and obviously Doom says it better, but these are some of my favorite bars. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, Figaro. What Doom say? The best MC with no. Ch the rest is empty with no chain. The rest is empty with no brain, but the clever nerd, the best MC with no chain you ever heard. Yeah, Figaro, and that has that very nice bass line. Very smooth beat, Figaro is. That's track number 14. All caps, track number 20. So if you're a fan of Adult Swim, you've heard all caps. They used to play all caps on Adult Swim. <laughs> And also Rhinestone Cowboy, track number 22, and that's the outro. Man, what do him say on Rhinestone Cowboy? He's, he's in it for the quiche. You might as well not ask him for no free shit, capiche? He's in it for the quiche. You might as well not ask him for no free shit, capiche? Oh, my aching hands from raking in grams and breaking in nightstands. Yeah, man, that's mad villainy. MF Doom. Mad Lib. Underground classic. It's so big. It's not even just underground anymore. You know mainstream artists have tweeted their love for this album like Drake uh, This this is a timeless timeless album. It's already what it's almost 20 years old at this point in 2024 This will be 20 years old. So maybe you're watching in 2024. You're watching in the future. This is 20 years old MC MF doom beats by Mad Lib if I had to rate this album out of five stars, I think I would give this, I guess five stars, five star album. And when you listen to this, don't expect like this huge, complex, you know, thematic type theme. It's very just, it's a very free spirited, free flowing album. And you can tell both Doom and Mad Lib were just peak creativity you know, there, there's a freeness about this album that makes it so great. So yeah, Doom, Mad Lib, Mad Villainy. Be sure to subscribe if you have not already. That was Vinyl of the Week number 34, and this is Top5, RapWebsite.com. Peace.